we worship the Lord with us.
Where's Melvin on the other side over here? Just want to come and say, is this, this is another album that you have on, not this particular song though, right? Yes. Okay. We've just, I just did a live CD the other night at my church. You got a new CD coming out? Oh, yes. And what we did, we went all the way back. I did Hold My Mule. Uh oh, no, you did. Yes, I did. <laughs> I did, uh, I did. This song, Jesus, I love to call your name. Yeah. I did a song with Joe Lagun. Oh, wait a minute. I did Sweeping Through the City with Joe. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. We just went all you the way back. back. Get all, getting all the good ones. That's all right. We went ones. all the way back. It is the vintage Shirley Caesar. The vintage uh, <laughs> Pastor yeah. Shirley Caesar. Uh, Don't you like that? I wonder what's wrong with this audience. Why? Bless you all. I remember mama and the love that she gave uh, Kneeling by her bedside, I can see her, your mama say The people are depending on you, don't you let them down Well, I remember mama in a happy way
you know, I remember my mother. I remember when I used to go to church and play church. Tell the truth. How many of you, when you were children, you used to play church? Come on. I know it. I know. Because some of you still playing. And uh, everything the grown folk did, I could do it. I could whoop. I could jerk. I even could speak in a tongue. But I didn't have anything. And nothing from nothing leaves nothing. And so you got to always remember that when you're playing church, that there is an old shit eye that's looking at you. And I remember I used to go down to the church and my brother was a preacher. Me and my sister Ann, we were the members in the church. And uh, my brother said, so we don't call Jesus three times, y'all. Well, I jumped up the first time. I said, Jesus. But I didn't have nothing. There was no fire in it, no anointing in it. Got to the second I'm ah, Jesus. I read. But I didn't have nothing. Sat back down acting like I was happy. But on the third go right, something got a hold of me. Can I get a witness? I said, hey, 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 hey. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. I start dancing in the backyard. My mother looked out back it's a Shirley and ain't playing this time hallelujah I remember I remember oh yeah in a happy way Is the sentiment of my heart because I had a praying mother. I said, I had a praying mother. If there anybody in here that'll testify, I said, Pastor Shirley, I had a praying mother. Yeah, if you did, if you had a good mother, somebody say, Glory. Say glory.
Today is your day. Tonight is your night. I've come all the way from Carolina to stay. You're next. The next in line for a miracle. Oh, miracle. I wish I had a church. Oh, miracle. You're next in line. And I don't know who this song is for, but you're next in line. You got to tell the devil I'm tired of bringing up the rear. You're next in line. Let that devil know I walk in the fullness of God. You're next in line for me. Oh, yeah, I yeah. Miracle.
that have been on the poverty end of that table. But God said the tables are getting ready to turn. And I'm gonna take you from the poverty side. I'm gonna take you from the, the time when you're always in need and just barely make your need. God said, I'm gonna turn. I'm gonna turn. Good. Wind, your spirit, your spirit speak to me. 
said it's your time she's here tonight Deborah God said it's your time to be blessed God told me to tell you you're next in line for a miracle now listen now listen to me she had not walked in over 10 years couldn't stand up couldn't do anything her mother's here tonight morning in Mount Calvary they found a, a walker from somewhere she couldn't do this she got up and began to walk Deborah I hope somebody got a walker here because the healer is in the room tonight She woke up one morning and couldn't walk. But watch God pass it to him. You're next in line for your miracle. Pass it on to him. Your breakthrough tonight. Your breakthrough, your breakthrough has come, Deborah. She got sick, and uh, she was uh, married, of course, and uh, her husband left her, and nobody was there to take care of her. She stayed in the hospital for over a year. After the year, uh, she got out of the hospital, and uh, I was uh, mama there to take care of her, so I said, thank God I'm here, and I'm going to take care of her. Uh, I just bless the Lord uh, who is the head of my life and I just want to thank God for uh, blessing me and for healing my body. He is continuously healing me. Um, I'm in stages and I know that God is going to bring me completely up out of this chair. And I just want to thank God for that. He's working in my life and um, he's blessing me and actually today's uh, recording uh, June 17th, today, in 1985, I gave my life to Christ on June 17th. So I just want to thank God for being in my life for all those years because I know that without 
uh, the hand of Jesus being in my life, I would not be, would have not been able to make it thus far. Mm -hmm. And I just want to thank God for placing Pastor in my life. She is a blessing to me uh, when I was in the hospital, and I did not know uh, her. Uh, a young nurse brought me some tapes, and it just happened to be Pastor Caesar's tapes that she was singing, and her music uh, got me through daily when I was in the hospital for that year. So I just want to thank God for her, and lo and behold, she's now my pastor. And I want to also thank God and give recognition too to my mom because uh, I just thank God for that. She has really uh, been there with me on a daily basis. When you see people uh, just in a day, you don't know what they've been through on a daily basis. And I just want to thank God for that. He can do it for anybody. The doctors told me that I was going blind. Nashville, God healed me. They wanted to take my right kidney out. But I stand tonight to tell you. When the doctors came to me and brought me some papers to sign. I got to talk to my big brother. I said, I got a doctor in my family. And this doctor said to me, said, I know all of your mother's children. You don't have no doctors in your family. He said, are you talking about Julius? I said, no, I'm talking about Jesus. And I took the paper and I checked myself out of the hospital and I went home. And they carried me upstairs and they said, now you know, Shirley, you got to get in the bed. The doctors told us to put you straight to bed. I said, before I get in, I'm going down on my knees. And when I went down on my knees, looked like I saw at least three angels waiting in line. Looked like I saw Michael, Gabriel, Raphael. Each one of the angels stood there with their wings dripping in heavenly medicine saying, Lord, let me go down there. God said, I want, he said, I want to send you, but I want to send somebody that can get there right now. Michael said, I can get there in three seconds. God said, no. Gabriel said, I can get there in two seconds. God said, no. Raphael said, well, I can get there in a half of it. God said, no. So the angels took two steps back and said, Well, Lord, since we cannot get that time, why don't you go yourself? And God took even two more steps back. He said, You listen here. I don't have to go because I'm already there. I'm already there. Caesar and my sister Anne, who now sleeps.
mama would sit over there in her big old rocking chair. She would speak so softly and so kind, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I heard mama say, Lord, I thank you. I thank you for all my children. And I said, I don't want to keep on singing and keep sinning. I was crying, snot was coming out of my nose, writing this on my. I said, I don't want to keep on living and not see you in the end. I said, I don't want to know your name and you. 
before I get to the game. I told God, I said, please hold me. Hold me close. I said, wrap me in your arms and never let me go. Hold me. Hold me close. I said, I don't want to keep on preaching and not believing. I don't want to keep on running, tripping over my sin, myself. I So, please hold me Hold me close Whatever you do God Don't, don't let me live for you And I see you in the end Hold me Hold me close Don't let me keep serving my church And I don't get to see your face Hold me Hold me close I said, please hold me. That's what I told God. Please, please hold me. Hold me go. Whatever you do, don't let me go. So I said, hold me go. I said, please, Jesus, please, Jesus, please hold me. Somebody on to sing it tonight. Hold me close. Wrap your arm around yourself. Say, please hold me. Please hold me. Please hold me. Hold me. Hold me. Hold me. Hold me. Oh, Lord, please hold me. Oh, don't let me go astray. Yeah, yeah. Hold me. Please. Please. Please hold me, please hold me Don't never let me go Whatever you do, God I, 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 I want to know, I want to know that you're there Please, Jesus, please, 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 please. Hold me close Lift your voice and tell God Don't let me go Somebody tell him Don't let me go I promise if you tell him Don't let me go God's getting ready to send floods of people To your church Don't let me go Don't let my neighbor go Don't let their family go Whatever you do Jesus Don't let me me, 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 me go but hold us close, hold us close, hold us close. <laughs> but God bless me to go to Shaw University, right over there. Uh, somebody ought to really clap your hands. And I've come tonight to tell all of our young people, do not accept no for an answer. Somebody's going to tell you that you're not capable of learning. Your head is too hard, your skull is too thick. But look at your neighbor and tell them the devil is a liar. <laughs> Point your right hand at yourself and said, I can learn. And I am going to school. And so I want to dedicate this song tonight. Where's little David? Come here, son. I want to sing this song and dedicate it to all of these young people. You know, I know, I know y'all been getting into it, but 
I want to slow it down just a tad because I want our young folk to know that when you add it all up the cost of real love it's not in the sneakers it's not in the designer jeans hello somebody so I believe in bringing it right down front but the cost of real love is no charge This little boy came into the kitchen one evening while she was fixing supper and he handed her a piece of paper he had been writing on and so after she wiped her hands on her apron she took the letter in her hands and she read it and this is what it said I'm on the yard five dollars if I'm making up my own bet this week, one dollar. For going to the store, 50 cents. If I'm playing with little brother mama while you went out shopping, 25 cents. Now listen to this. Taking out the trash, one dollar. Good report card, five dollars. If a rake in the yard, mama, two dollars. Total fourteen seventy-five. <laughs> well, she looked at him standing. He had his hand open, waiting on some money. Words. 